you probably clicked onto this video because you're searching for the best Fortnite settings here in Season 4. And I'm going to help you to find the best optimal settings for your playstyle and for yourself, guys. There's a huge difference between like a super cracked mechanical player or someone who heavily relies on aim, guys. Of course, also your setup plays a huge role in your overall success and competitive. But straight up in the game, there are some settings you should definitely utilize which will give you straight up a competitive advantage. I'm going to cover everything which you guys need in order to find the best settings for yourself. It's not going to be one of these guys, just copy that and you're gonna be amazing. I'm going to break down exactly how you can improve and how to find the best settings and the best gear to fit your playstyle. But in the first place, guys, please do me a favor and subscribe so that I can give away this GTX 1080 to my subscribers at 60k. And for the next step, guys, what do we need to settle down? Not every player has the same preferences. Maybe you're yourself a player who highly relies on his aim and is not as mechanical. So therefore, what you should do 100% is go for lower sense because it will benefit your aim, which is your number one strength. Try something like 6 to 7% on 800 DPI. Trust me, this is the sweet spot. If you're more mechanical player or W key player, guys, straight up go for a higher sense. I mean, you're trying to become the next O'Reilly, so therefore put that sense up. If you, as mentioned, more the W key guys, something between like 12 to 14% on 800 DPI should do the job. Especially No O'Reilly, Vadil, FNCS winners, literally like the best fighters in the game, are using insanely high sense. I mean, just take a look at the background gameplay of No O'Reilly destroying Vico. This is amazing. And once we clear that up, guys, we have to talk about the next point, which would be an overall setup. I know guys that not everyone has the same amount of budget to spend on a setup, but I'm not even saying that you need the highest tier one. What I simply want to talk about is some people don't realize that you maybe could play a lot better once you switch over to a clicky keyboard. I even realized that for myself guys, like my free builds on clicky switches are so much more precise because I get that feedback from my keyboard. On the other hand, you have people who really love linear switches and they can't build on clicky switches. So therefore guys, what I want you to do is really ask your friends to maybe try out their keyboard, go into a shop and try out different different keyboard switches. You don't have to go for premium keyboard. There are a lot of budget friendly clicky keyboard switches like the Royal Clutch 61 which will do the job perfectly. Another super beneficial point is as well your mouse pad guys. Maybe you're someone who likes a control pad. Maybe you're someone who likes a soft pad, a hard pad. The possibilities are infinite and it might actually be that one item which is holding you back from becoming the next No Riley. And once you're going to take a look at the best in-game settings guys, it's super simple. Performance mode, everything on the lowest. The amount of extra visibility you have on performance mode is crazy in comparison to Dart X. 11 or DirectX 12. You don't have any of these unwanted animations while building. You might even have additional in-game bugs like I just had here right now in this cup. I could see people straight up camping in the bush because of performance mode. And once we're going to mention your keybinds guys, go for optimal keybind. If you're going to look at the Fortnite pro scene, we can see so many pros who once only utilized their keyboard for build binds have already switched to at least utilizing your mouse side buttons as well. Keep in mind guys, the hand which is placed on your keyboard already has to deal with your movement, with your weapon binds, everything. And then additionally also so with all your build binds, that's a lot for one hand. So therefore, if you have some side buttons, please make sure to utilize at least one of them, guys. If you're going to take a look at some of the best W keys, all of them are utilizing at least one or preferably even two mouse side buttons. And if you made it this far into the video, guys, comment down below what's your mouse and keyboard setup. I'm highly interested what's like the most popular keyboard and mouse combo. And you guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.